Howdy folks. Today I'm heading down to the Arkansas River, sort of. So I'm going to a park that's on the Arkansas River and I'm going to fish a little river that runs off to the side of it. And I should be fairly close to the mouth of it where they kind of intersect and down a little ways. So hopefully there'll be some fish in that area. Hello coffee. Here's coffee. Enjoy him while I talk. But uh, yeah, we're going to go down there and uh, do some tight lining, throw some lures around, see what we can find. Speaking of cats, uh, Coco's not out here, but I'm sure y'all want an update, but he's doing a lot better. Uh, he's been home now for almost two weeks, I think. Yeah, pushing on it. And uh, he, he's getting around, he started eating again, and he's, his breathing's a little off still. And he gets into these little sneezing and coughing fits, but Overall, he, he's doing fine. He seems like his old self. I just we're waiting for some tests to come back from the uh, from the vet to see what's going on in there still, and then we can finally treat that. But overall, he's doing well. So uh, with that, we'll say one last goodbye to coffee here. Coffee, say goodbye. Tell the people goodbye. All right, cool. We'll see you there. Well, I made it here, and uh, it seems like the main road into the park is closed. They got the gate up saying that I uh, can't drive in there. That doesn't mean I can't walk in there. Well, it might, but it's Sunday, so there's not going to be any worker personnel around. So I parked here at the boat ramp, and I'm going to have to take a stroll in there. But I figure we'll come take a look what the uh, river's looking like, and first thing I can notice it smells like dead fish, which could be concerning. But, uh, this is it. There's this little, like, cove in spot here at the boat ramp. It's a little bit windy. Just a smidgen. And, uh, uh, a freaking hole. Uh, this looks like it could be an okay place. Maybe I'll throw around here for a second before I take off. But, oh, here's our. Here's our dead fish cause. There's quite a lot of dead fish right here. What are these? Let's see. Well, that's a pretty good sized catfish. The gar right there. It's more, oh my. These are Two guards, but that that's a very large Asian carp as well as that one there's one tucked up in the grass over there I didn't know Asian carp were here I uh, I didn't think they had made it into the Arkansas River that's concerning hmm I'm gonna guess someone was out here bow fishing then although they don't seem to have well no maybe he does yeah, he does. You can see right there above his fin, there's a hole in him. So someone's out here bow fishing. Now the catfish, I don't know if you can bow fish those. And the gar is just a shame. Oh, there's some more dead gar. There's a bunch of them just right up here under the dock. That I will never understand people who bow fish like that. They don't even do anything. They just want to kill fish. Now the Asian carp, fully understand. You kill them throw them on a lot of people just throw them on the shore you can't do stuff with them they're not exactly a good eating fish uh, you could use them for bait for sure but those fish need to be killed and out of the ecosystem but like that catfish was a good catfish like that was an eater if you shot that why wouldn't you take that home the gar it's sad they're considered trash fish and a nuisance even though they're a natural part of the ecosystem here they're that's where they're supposed to be but Oh well, I'm gonna get my stuff together and I guess I'll take a walk, get to where I want to fish, be ashamed of other people. Well, we're down at the water. It's not uh, the exact spot that I was thinking of, but I figured while I'm walking down to it, may as well stop at the first place I can. So I'm getting rigged up here. I've got this big old hunk of shrimp, which hopefully 
will stay on the hook decently. It got kind of a small hook, but it's what's tied on. Uh, I'm just gonna whip it on out there and let it sit. All right, it stayed on. And then I've got an actual rod holder here. I went and bought me one of those little basic ass ones because my little auto flip up one kind of a pain sometimes. But there we go. See if something picks that up, I guess. More than likely, I'm guessing that the first thing that bites it is just going to rip it off the hook. But well, we'll, uh, we'll let that sit. I'll give it 30 minutes or so. And got a tiny rod. Still got this blue rooster tail on there. I don't think it'll do great in this water. But I believe we're all familiar that uh, with me not liking to retie things. So give a shot what's already on there. Yep, there's something. What is this? We got a drum. It's been a long while since I've caught one of these on the channel. That's interesting. My pliers are up in my bag, which I'm gonna need because he's got this down there. I didn't expect to catch a drum. Pliers, pliers, pliers. There they are. Come here, bud. You, uh, you ate the shit out of that. There we go. Those in my pocket. Come here, you. Oof, I gotta get him back in the water. The hook's out, he's bleeding a bit. But once he's in the water, he should be just fine. Yeah, but I actually don't know if I've ever caught a drum on camera before. I know I've caught a few before, but I don't think I ever did it on camera. So that may be a first for the channel. Very unexpected, but definitely cool. I can come down here a bit. There's these logs up here. See if I can get an angle to throw at those. <clears throat> I don't want to get into here too well. No, it's like there's too much vegetation. Much grass growing up everywhere around the shoreline. Though, I wanted to be real dumb, which sometimes I do. I could just walk out across this log here. I mean, I talked about it, I can't not try it now. <laughs> Well, all the turtles. Seems like a pretty steady log. Little, little rotted. That out of my way. Uh, this wood's a little squishy. Concerning. How's this thing feel? Doesn't feel terrible. This is definitely a risk versus rule. Oh, there's a nice gar right there. Look at that. Well. I 
and let it sink. Or I can catch it directly on the log. Right as a fish comes out right there. It's a little gar. And I just broke off the only lure I had with me. The spotted gar, I think. Oh well, this isn't the rod for that anyway. Uh, well, I'm gonna go fix this. <clears throat> New lure choice, little lipless crankbait slash rattle trap, whichever you want to call it. And, uh, I can throw this one a bit farther, it's a little heavier. But also, it'll, uh, I can work it at depths easier than I can that rooster tail. Downside is, I may snag it up on the bottom while I try to figure out how fast I need to reel it. But we'll get it sorted out. Maybe catch something new. There's one. Come on, come get it. I think he's got it. Nope. Oh, he chased it. It's still right there in front of me. I can barely see a shadow. He's right at my feet, right there. I'm busy having all my shit tangled up and all these plants. Come on, buddy. He's got it. He had it. He bit it. He let go. Damn. It's, it's a really hard plastic. Even though they got those thick, bony mouths, they are actually kind of sensitive. So they don't really like when they bite onto thick plastic. If I see another one, I'll toss it. Hell, I'll toss it to that one some more if I see him come back. Fish or a snag. It's moving. I think I got a fish. Oh, I think I snagged a big fish. That thing is, I can see its shadow. It is large. Oh man, I got a four pound line. Come on, this way, this way, this way. It's underneath the branch. Come on. You are a big some bitch. That is a gar. Oh my goodness. That size fish on this little rod, four pound line. Uh oh, come on, no, no, no. Stay off the wood. Come on. There we go, you're off, you're off. Look at that fish. Oh man, oh man. This is gonna be a challenge. I need you to come back out from under the log, buddy. And not rub me on it too hard. Oh boy. Oh boy, he's got the line tangled on the wood. Oh no. All right, this is definitely gonna be a little tricky. Okay, I gotta get I gotta get my line off the log. I gotta figure out where it's stuck. Alright, alright, I got it. Oh boy.
Do it again, don't do it again. Get tired. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, this bark's really starting to hurt my legs. Oh no! He caught me up on the branch again. Damn it! Well, uh, you ever wanted to question the strength of an ugly stick? It's brand right there. That was a big old gar, and I fought it hard. I'd have landed that fish if I wasn't on this log, because that's the only reason that line broke. It didn't break in his mouth or anything. It broke on the log. And I got this little four pound line. Shit. All right, I've uh, sat for about 10 minutes being angry about the gar. I decided, time to move spots. At least see if this thing got any attention on it. Feels like the shrimp. Shrimp's still there. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna change locations. We're not going far. Just right across the lot over there. More water. Well, here's our new spot. It's uh, just right around the corner. I was fishing over there, and this kind of channel comes out around here and bends back around, and going out that way is the main river. So I just moved spots. I got this nice little shady bench here got my shrimp deployed I'm gonna try using this thing uh, I picked this up the other day it said it's some kind of wake bait like it stays right on the surface or right under it well, I'm not really entirely sure what it's gonna do it looks just kind of like a square build to me yeah there it is just right there at the surface making a little wake okay Let's see what it does line just went super slack and something may be on there some tightness yes we got one oh is this a gar it is a gar well it's not as big as the last one this rod is definitely uh, more equipped for it. Um, ooh, I saw a little blood come off him. Gar are notoriously difficult to unhook because usually they have to swallow it. But it's a short nose gar, which I don't think I've ever caught before. Whoop. There, buddy. A short nose gar. I've never caught one of these. This is new for me. Um, I gotta figure out how to get into his mouth, hold it open. I'm gonna try and see if I can get my fish grippers in there. They've got such small little mouths here and I need him to open it and he's got tons of teeth so this may not be a simple task let me grab him here we're gonna take him over to the bench so I don't have to bend down quite so far my rod will cooperate oh, all right real slimy too don't worry about him flopping around on the ground like that these guys are super tough in their scales. It's, it's really thick armor. Oh, he's got his mouth open. Can I get in there? Ha! All right, got his mouth open. See how deep it is. If I can get my pliers into it. I may just have to cut the line, which is fairly typical. 
you can see all of his little teeth here, which are super sharp. My pliers aren't gonna reach that. So I'm sorry, buddy. But it'll do less damage to you. And you'll have a better fighting chance. If I cut it out best I can, just let you go. All right, new fish species. There he goes. Fish are surprisingly good at uh, working those hooks out of their mouths. Ugh, I just rubbed all this nastiness on my face. So he should be fine. I'm gonna, gonna retie here, toss another one out. Not what I was hoping to catch, but I mean, cool fish and new. I like this bench. So overgrown, you can't even use it. No one's uh, done some maintenance down here in a while. Oh. That was a hit. It's still on there. Finally got the catfish I've been searching for. We do. Little guy though. There we go. That's what I came here to catch. Catfish. Now I don't really like grabbing hold of these guys because I'll just show y'all. You can see top of their yep hold them steady top of their fins right here hard bony spike that will stab the crap out of you and then it hurts for quite a while plus they're real slimy but it's not hooked too bad go nice and easy out I know my friends uh, my friends at work if they see this are gonna be upset because uh, they'd eat this guy I bet but that's not my deal he apparently doesn't want to let go there he goes go away buddy awesome it turned out to be quite the day. All right, sitting on there. It's the last fish for you know, maybe an hour or so. At least it feels that way. Wasn't really getting much attention since uh, that last bite. So I decided it's finally time to move on. Unfortunately, that means I gotta come sit out in the sun. We're gonna come out to the spot that I originally intended to do when I first decided to come out here. Take me long enough, and now we're doing it. Coming out to the little dock. Probably angle you guys up. All right. There we go, a little look around. This is where kind of swoop around into two different areas and this goes out to the main river and it looks like somehow this dock got moved off of the poles it used to be on now sits over here to the side and it's just tied on with a strap lovely some uh, quality stuff there uh, got second rod here I'm gonna toss this one out as well it's got an even bigger circle hook on it but we'll see what happens and I got to retie the one I've been using it uh was bringing it in I guess it was snagged up on something so now it's got nothing on it 
but that's fine. So, pop in here, move this far to get it, grab the shrimp. You know, the shrimp's actually doing better than I expected, but got a good bit of bites on it. I've actually caught a few fish, so that's nice. Of course, generally, if I go fishing like this, I always expect to catch absolutely nothing. So anything is a vast improvement, but bring our big hook here. There's that. Hopefully that'll work. I think that looks pretty good. Nice little circle hook with a bunch of small weights tied onto it because I didn't have a larger one last time I was using it. Whip it on out there. And there's no real rod holders here. And I guess I could stick it down in that hole. No, it's just gonna be in the water and blech. I'll just I'll just balance it off of there. Should be good enough. Tighten her up. Actually, pretty tight already. I may have thrown it right on snag. If that's the case. It's coming in. It's just real heavy. From there's, I think there's almost an ounce of weight on there. All right, whatever. Let that sit. I'm gonna re-rig this one. All right, got one on. Didn't have time to get the camera on before the hook set. This one's got some fight to it. And that was just coming right at me. Hey, what have we got here? Catfish, I think. Just kind of swimming around down here, right below me. Oh yeah, nice. That's a good one. Um, landing him might be a thing. Maybe I can get my grips in his mouth. Need him to calm down enough. There we go. All right. Let's see if I can get down here. I generally do not advocate just grabbing hold of your fishing line when a fish is on it. Because they can pull enough to just freaking cut you with the line. But sometimes it's what you got to do. All right. See if I can get that hook out of him. He's, uh, he's kind of down there. Oh boy. Yeah, you really got it in there, buddy. I'm going to give it a shot. But I may need to cut it. Because it, it's in his throat. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut this one. It's a shame. It's good fish, but... It'll, uh... Do more damage to him if I don't. Let me get this around your barbel in here. You know, I've got I've got scissors in this pocket. No. That way I can get a nice cut down in there, not leave a bunch of line hanging everywhere. Still, there we go. That'll give him his best fighting chance, but that's a nice channel cat. That is definitely a take home and eat fish, but I don't do that much. 
So we're not going to, we're gonna let him go. But nice one. There he goes. Hopefully he can get that thing out. He, uh, he didn't give me a chance to really set the hook. He just ran with the line. And I had to grab the pole right quick. Still got this one in the water. How much time did that take? 15 minutes, all right. I can give him, I can give 25 minutes. I can sit here another bit. I'm not gonna bother retying that one. We're just gonna let it be. All right, well, let's see if this last pole gets any action. Line's gone slack on the catfish rod. Right. Hope whatever had it picked it up, moved it. And no more bait. And I threw all the other shrimp over the side already. I don't have any more. Time to pack up. Well, I'd say it was honestly better than I expected. I, I had a good amount of cloud coverage throughout the day, so I didn't really overheat a ton. Definitely some shitty spots with that. Uh, hooked into several different types of fish. And that one massive gar that got away. Oh, that would have been an epic moment if I could have landed that thing. Well, you know, can't catch them all. Even though that's ideally what I would like to do. So, it's 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 odd. Blech. It's rare that I actually set out for something on one of these videos and do it. Usually I've got an idea and it doesn't work out at all and I have to just kind of, you know, try to make something happen. But today it, it actually worked out. Caught a decent amount of fish for what I was expecting. Mine three on a tight line, plus I had a bunch of other bites that I just missed. Uh, caught me a new fish, short nose gar. Caught a first time fish for the channel, even though it's not new to me with the uh, freshwater drum. So, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's about one o'clock now. I can get home around two. Desperately hungry, it turns out. So, I'm going to eat something and then finally mow my lawn because it's, uh, it's getting pretty bad. So, I'll, uh, I'll catch y'all next time. See ya.